In this problem, a given community has a current population of 30,000 residents. The town has recently started to smell funny, and their sports teams are all doing poorly. As such, it has been predicted that their population will decrease by about 25% over the next 10 years as people move away in disgust. However, this smelly, unathletic town is also concerned about climate change and the larger storms that are expected to impact it in 10 years. The wastewater treatment plant is planning to change their peak flow capacity from 2.5 times the daily flow to three times the daily flow. What is the new peak flow expected to be in 10 years in MGD? So this is a long problem to read out, but it's actually a very short one to solve. The first thing to note about this problem is that it doesn't require anything from the reference manual. It gives you everything you need to solve it right within the problem. So let's get to it. Step one is to find the future expected water use in 10 years. We're just going to sum the commercial and domestic flows that are expected 10 years later. So from our table over here, we can see that 10 years later, the expected commercial use in gallons per capita per day is eight, and the domestic is 45. So eight plus 45 simply equals 53 gallons per capita per day. Step two, we're gonna find the new expected population in 10 years. So, so if our current population is 30,000 and it's expected to decrease by 25%, all we have to do is 30,000 times 75% of the whole, since that'll be what's left. And that'll give us 22,500 residents. In this case, you could replace the word residents with capita, if it's gonna help you out with your unit conversion later. Step three, we're gonna find the daily flow rate in 10 years in MGD. So, so if we have 53 gallons per capita day times 22,500 capita, that's going to give us just about 1192500 gallons per day since capita will cancel out. And this number is the same as if we go 10 to the 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's the same number as 1.1925 million gallons per day. And now we have step four, find the peak flow in 10 years. The problem tells us that the new peak flow is gonna be three times the daily flow. So all we have to do here is 1.1925 MGD times three, and that's going to give us 3.5775 MGD. And that's the answer to our problem. And if we look over here, the closest answer is gonna be 3.6. So yeah, this problem is pretty straightforward. There's nothing needed from the manual. You just need to make sure that you are using the values required for future predictions over here, and not those in the present day, which are just meant to trick you. And again, it's a long problem to read through, but everything you require is right here. And that's it.